1125 Granville, uh, Clefton Hotel on uh, Granville Street. The place is full of cockroaches, bed bugs, and we got mice there. And then the landlord has the guard going through the church, and your friends $30 a night for having somebody stay over with you, which is against the law. But what do we do about it? Would you mind showing your uh, your bites there, the bed bugs? I got all kinds of bites on me. All over. And each and every time he fumigates, it seems to be more coming back. See them? I'm Christina Hester and these are my sons Kenny and Charleston and we're changing up our story time a little different today from Hare Slate County Park to where we like to read our stories which is in Kenny's bedroom just right before we're ready to go to bed and we want to share with you tonight one of our favorites it's called Let's Sing a Lullaby with the Brave Cowboy by Jan Thomas if you have this book at home you can read with us too shall we begin all right, let's do this. Time to hit the hay, little cows. It's time for little cows to rest their heads. It's time for little cows to go to bed. It's time for little cows to sleep so tight. It's time for us to say... Porgy put in a pie, just the girls are made and cry. When the boys are kicked, pay orgy, boy, run away. Two are going to be boy babies and two are going to be girl babies. Oh. Bully boy, bully boy, did you fetch for a tea? Can I roll it? Did you fetch your for a tea? A girl's family made a suck. He's around the be your mother. Hey, that's her pajamas. You put the fun baby. She's going to look adorable. Here. She's going to look like an adorable princess. She goes to sleep with her underpants on. She really does. I sometimes do, too. When the ring blows, the cry the river. When the ring blows, the cry the river. Now they're asleep. It's so simple. 
Who can do that? So simple. Everybody would think it's simple. Just everybody. You button that. Everybody would think it's simple. Everybody. Every, nobody couldn't think it's simple. The babies think it's simple. No, I mean, babies don't think it's simple. I can't put this dress on. Did you fall asleep, Georgia? No. Cock-a-booty. What the fuck? That's a cock-a-booty. <laughs> I put the cookie in my knife. <laughs> the duck in there. Here's the duckie. a puppet. It's a little person. Do you want the two reds or the two blues? Two reds. Okay, then take this red and give me your blue. No. Give me my blue. Do you want the two blue? Yeah. Oh, Georgia, you want the two reds. And here, take these two. Take these ones. No, I'm not going to use those Yeah. There. Throw it in the garbage. No, I don't want to. Throw it in the garbage. This one's mine. I need that one. I want some feet. No. You want some feet here. No, those are on our feet. funny laugh. <laughs> they laugh and laugh and laugh until they stop laughing and they cry. And then it starts all over again. Laughing, crying, laughing, crying, laughing, crying. Chew the money, I I'm gonna... Daddy. Once upon a time, there was a little bear. They lived in a little house. What? Say it loud. Um, the bear eat a its mouth and then it's dead. <coughs> but if it eats up its eye, it um, gets alive. Eats a cockaboo. <laughs> Three, four, five, seven, eight. A balloon for me. Uh, should I do it to you? No. Then stay there. Stay on you. What do you like to eat? Dinner. But in this four minutes. <laughs> you can get married anytime, except if you're tired. 
If you try, you can't get married. But when you get very old, better. and your parents die, you get married, right? I mean, no, when you get married, your parents don't die. It's right, right, right. Right and by. Rock and by. Rock and by. Rocky by day, in on the treetop, when the wind blows, the cradle will rock, the bell wakes, the cradle will rock. You know how babies get born, Georgia? Yeah. And then we'll go. from Max, who's age five, and he wanted to know where we sleep when we're at the firehouse, which is a great question. Our shifts are 48 hours long, which means we come in and spend two nights here at the fire station before we go home to our families. So as you can see behind me, we have to have somewhere to sleep when we're not out running calls. We have regular beds, just like you do at home. We don't have a set bedtime though, and we don't read bedtime stories. But when we're asleep in the middle of the night, if a call comes in, all of our lights come on, and we have to get up, get dressed, and get down to the truck as quickly as possible. is an exciting addition to the family. But there are problems, too. He's always asleep. When's he ever going to be any fun? All he ever does is eat and sleep. Yes, eat and sleep. And that's just about all you did, too, when you were a baby. You had to depend on your mother for all the things that you needed. She had to feed you, to bathe you, to put you down to sleep. As you grow older, you learn to do more and more things for yourself. Some of these things you do so often that they become habits. Everybody has habits. Dad likes to read his newspaper every evening in this same chair. It's one of his habits. Habits are things you do naturally without having to think about them. Martha first had to think each step when she tied a bow knot. Now she can do it easily and quickly. Regular habits make daily living much easier since they help us do things without having to think about them. Some of the habits you learn now may stay with you all your life. All right, children. It's time to get ready for bed. I'm almost through with this chapter, Mother. It's time for bed, Susie. You go right to sleep now. Getting ready for bed at a regular time is one of the most important habits you can learn. A quiet hour or two before bedtime is part of this habit. It makes you feel relaxed and sleepy, ready for bed.
Washing up is part of the going to bed habit. Any regular routine before bedtime helps you feel sleepy. Hanging up your clothes can be part of this routine. They'll air out overnight and be neat for tomorrow. Wearing the right kind of night clothes is important. David's pajamas fit him loosely and don't bind him around the waist. David likes to open his window, when it isn't too cold, for fresh air, but he's careful not to sleep in a draft. Of course, Martha has her own habits. Instead of opening her window, she gets fresh air by opening her door a bit. Good night, David. Good night, sis. David's bed is comfortable and the mattress isn't too soft. The covers on his bed are warm without being heavy. And so David's ready for bed at just about the usual time. Of course, he sometimes stays up later, but that doesn't happen often enough to change his going to bed habits. Now to sleep. Some people go right to sleep, others take longer. Because David has regular sleeping habits, he usually drops off very quickly. David has probably never stopped to think what a wonderful thing sleep is. In sleep, the muscles of the body are relaxed. It's the most perfect way to relax that we have. Our breathing is slower and deeper when we sleep. The body's temperature is lower. Even the heart beats more slowly. The whole body is resting. To rest all our muscles, we turn in our sleep. Some people turn often, others not so often, but we all do it. It's a normal part of sound, healthy sleep. Dreams are normal too. Often they're suggested by things around us while we sleep. don't seem to make much sense, do they? That's because the brain is resting along with the body, so it's less alert when you sleep. After a good night's sleep, you usually wake up easily and naturally. The alarm hasn't rung yet. David finds that he usually wakes up before it goes off. Of course, it takes him a little while to get fully awake. You're never at your best until at least an hour or two afterwards. That's one reason why getting up early is so important. There's plenty of time for breakfast, too. Breakfast is an important meal that shouldn't be missed. If you usually go to bed early enough, you usually wake up early, too. You can start the day in a pleasant, unhurried way. It's more fun for you that way, and more fun for the rest of the family, too. David and Martha enjoy their mornings, and that helps them enjoy the whole day. As the day goes on, you get more and more value from your regular sleeping habits. Plenty of sleep helps you to be bright and alert to the very end of the day. But what about bad sleeping habits? George just doesn't get enough sleep. Now in the afternoon, he's tired. It's hard for him to pay attention in class. When the teacher calls on him, George just can't seem to remember things that he really ought to know. George doesn't realize it, but his main trouble is bad sleeping habits. Last night, for instance... No, no, Muggsy. Don't rub me out. I didn't do it. 
Honest, I didn't. No rat's gonna squeal on me. You know too much, Limpy. You know I wouldn't sing, Muggsy. We've been pals too long. Slats saw you in the DA's office. Sure, I was there, but, but, but they didn't get nothing out of me. Then why was the coppers around here today? I don't know, Muggsy, I don't know. You squealed, that's why. You put the finger on me. You can't do it, Muggsy, you can't, you can't. Oh, oh. Yes, George has bad sleeping habits. And even when he finally does get into bed, he finds it hard to go to sleep. That's because he hasn't formed the habit of going to sleep at a regular time each night. And it's just as hard for him to wake up in the morning. George! George! Get up, George. He's still tired because he hasn't had enough sleep. Hey, Mom, where are my books? On the mantel, dear. George, close the door. The morning starts badly, and the whole day goes badly when you get too little sleep too often. And even after class is over, you keep on paying the penalty for bad sleeping habits. You don't have much fun when you're tired and low in energy. Lack of sleep makes it hard for you to do your best. You just can't seem to get into the game and have fun, the way the other fellows do. You're irritable and cross, hard to get along with. People don't like you, and you don't like yourself when you're like that. Probably neither David nor George realize how important their sleeping habits are to the way they enjoy their waking hours. Going to bed at a regular time each night makes it easier for you to go right off to sleep instead of lying awake long into the night. You wake up easily and naturally without having to be dragged out of bed. And most important, your day starts right and stays right. Both David and Martha have learned that good sleeping habits help you get the most out of everyday living.
I'm not afraid of you. Get away. You don't bother me. Time for our little game. Remember, it's our secret. Now what does he got that we don't got? I'm gonna go and cuddle up in my nice warm blanket. Haz, <laughs> where's my lovely blanket, Dad? What's all this? Ah, Danny, yeah. uh, on va faire un petit lit ici. You're making a little bed here? Oui! Why? Mais Tiny, pour qu'on puisse attendre les étoiles ensemble! What, we can all wait for all the stars together? Oui! Oh, brilliant! <laughs> Excuse me, chat, but what do you think you are doing? How am I meant to go to bed without my lovely blanket? Oh, hello, Tom! Hello! <laughs> Salut, Tom! Écoute, descends, descends, descends! Descends nous aider! Yeah, come down, come down, come down, Tom! Come and help us! Yes, I will come down, actually! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom's coming as well! Oh, oui! <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'm waiting to go to bed if you don't mind! Oh, mais Tom, Tom, Tom! Tom! Tom. Tu peux aller au lit. Hey Tom, look, you can go to bed. Look, it's a really good idea of Tilly's, look. <laughs> what, go to bed here? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why should we go to bed here? Pour attendre les étoiles. Yeah, so that we could all wait and see the stars and we can be all nice and cozy all in bed. <laughs> it's a good idea, <laughs> good idea. <laughs> look out for the stars. Yeah. Yeah, good idea! <laughs> <laughs> Allez, venez! Yeah, come on! <laughs> now we're all looking for stars together. Oh, we? we tous ensemble! Yeah, all together. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
to sleep.
You may recall the tallest man in America story we brought you a few months back. Well, now Norfolk Deputy George Bell has a new bed fit for America's tallest man. Guinness World Records officially named Bell the tallest man in the country last November. Bell is seven feet, eight inches tall. When Paul Hartman of Vermont saw the news, he gave Deputy Bell a call. At six foot 11 himself, Hartman is the owner of Tall Paul's Tall Mall. It specializes in beds and other specialty items for tall people. Hartman decided to donate a custom queen size bed to George, extra long of course, including the mattress, frame, and bedding to fit. Asked him about how he slept and what kind of bed he had. He said he had an old beat up bed that fit him but was in an horrible shape and he didn't have any linen that worked for him. And so I said, well, I can make that all work for you. And I decided to give him a bed. Hartman flew in from Vermont recently to make this special delivery in person. <laughs> Bell was so happy to receive such a generous gift, he didn't mind sharing his bed temporarily for photo ops. I'm very grateful too, just for the fact that there is a place that can accommodate a person my, st my stature. And uh, you know, the bed I have at home is already designed for my size anyhow, but this is a brand new one. So basically it's, it's more of an upgrade. Sheriff McCabe says he looks up to both men for obvious reasons. I said to uh, some other folks, you know, news always seems to be negative and always be in the headlines. And this is a feel-good story when somebody that doesn't even, didn't even know George just saw that uh, he was the tallest guy in America and he goes, you know what, a guy probably could use some help sleeping and, and donates a bed at his cost. I just think it is awesome. Another day's viewing on Channel 7 in Sydney. Glad we look forward to your company again tomorrow. We'll be here at 6 a.m. with Sheryl's Neighbourhood, and highlights of Friday night's viewing on 7 include The Goodies at 7 o'clock, and the Mad Trio go on holidays to Dunscrablin. At half past seven, those kids of fame have more spectacular singing and dancing. 8.30, Bert Lancaster, Lee Marvin and Robert Ryan blast into action as the professionals. Now, from all of us here at 7, this is Chris Kearns wishing you good night.
time for bed. I hope that story wasn't too scary for you. Oh, no, Grandpa. Not for us. Well, sleep well. Would you leave the door open a little? Or a lot? Certainly. Good night. Mm. Louie. What? I didn't believe that story. Did you? Of course not. Especially the monster part. And the screaming part. Ah, for the biggest range of quality beds and bedroom furniture at prices low enough to wet those on even the uh, tightest budget sleep easy, check your bedshed budget busters catalogue in your litter box or bedshed store. <laughs>